I'm Troy Kirby with a quick look at the 2022 Washington State Legislative Senate. The Senate State Government and Elections Committee heard public testimony on Senate Bill 5584, which would implement ranked choice voting in elections. You know, I, I'll be honest, I, I might be new to this role in the legislature, but actually I'm not new to this bill at all. Um, when I did serve as the legislative director for Attorney General, I felt this issue was important enough to bring it to his attention after some internal analysis by uh, experts in the office, um, and it be ended up being an AG um, strongly supported bill, really because empowering localities with tools to strengthen our democracy and make it more responsive and representative of the voters is one of the most important things I believe we can do. Communities around the state are asking for the option to implement electoral reforms like ranked choice voting as a way to allow voters to fully express themselves at the ballot box rather than constraining them to what they see as really two choices, often what they perceive as false choices. Some of us may remember when the state transitioned to the top two system, and that was just a lot for the voters to sort of get accustomed to. So I've been a little concerned about transitioning, but I, I am very intrigued by the local control option. This process would eliminate a primary election, wouldn't it? So would it save money by consolidating uh, two elections into one election? I stand in support of Senate Bill uh, 5584, and thought that maybe the experience that Utah has had with a very similar bill might be instructive for you. Uh, we passed a bill similar to this in 2018. In 2019, we had our first two cities use ranked choice voting. Over 80% of the voters uh, wanted to do it, liked it, and wanted to do it again after that election. This past year, we had 23 cities use ranked choice voting in Utah. Uh, approximately 40% of all voters in the state used it. And coming out of it, we had 62% that liked the experience that they had. No matter who you are or where you come from or what your politics are, most of us believe that we can do better than the zero sum, single choice, winner takes all system. Policy uh, platforms are similar. My vote doesn't count because the winner takes all and 35% is not a majority. So citizens who are allowed to participate in ranked choice voting can have their policy considered. And I think that it, it provides for a majority rule. Using the Condeset algorithm, the winner would be Alice. A 60% majority put her in first place. By contrast, using the Borda algorithm, the winner would be Bob. He was never ranked last and 400 people put Alice in last place. Thus, the results are substantially determined by which algorithm is used to count the votes and the results are non-intuitive. Since trust in our elections is important, it would be better to have simple voting procedures everyone understands and not require running and trusting a computer algorithm to determine the winner. Thank you for watching the 2022 Washington State Legislative Session.